Well, here we are again on a Sunday morning, dears. Uh, and I thought we'd do a little fashion show this morning. I've got my 50s gear on, yeah? And uh, so I hope you like the 50s frock. I'll have to show you all the petticoats, won't I? Yeah, because this is what you get with petticoats, look. You get all the petticoats. Oh, I've got my stockings and suspenders on as well. And uh, you're yeah, going to do it right. Well, it's a corset, actually, to be fair. But anyway, so where are we this morning? Well, it's been an interesting sort of a weekend, hasn't it, really? Did you go onto the market yesterday? 22 stalls. Oh, you came back, did you? Oh, you had a right performance putting them all in place this morning, yesterday morning. But anyway, he managed it, and uh, I went up a little later on and showed my glamorous self, because, well, that's what people expect to see, you know, this thing. It's international model and actress, and they're delighted to see me on the marketplace. Oh, and, oh, the adulation, you, you wouldn't believe it. Sometimes I wouldn't, I had to put my sunglasses on. Yeah, so that people didn't really uh, recognise me, you know. And uh, anyway, we we uh, we had a good morning, and uh, people really enjoyed themselves. And uh, the market traders weren't unhappy; they seemed to think they were making money, which uh, they don't normally do. And uh, anyway, yeah, so it was a really nice day, and and Steph's opening up a cafe shortly. That's another new business in Masson. Well, not a cafe actually; it's a it's a takeaway uh, sandwich and cake shop and whatnot. To be fair. So yeah, and she's uh, she wanted a mention, so I had to give her a mention. And guess who? Guess who's up to cutting a ribbon on the eleventh? <gasps> no, no, none other than myself, my good self. I've got to put my best frock on. I don't know that I've got anything, but anyway, it's, it's up to the standard and such things. So I've got to open that. And we're going to have another new shop in Park Square. Yes, absolutely. Didn't know about that, did you? Handy feet refill. Damon that comes on the market is going to open a shop. Uh, selling these things and also sort of more sort of other bits and bobs as well in in uh, in in uh, where the barbers used to be you know and so he's going to do that and so we're going to uh, see some changes aren't we and the back's been altered and uh, yeah so Massum's coming alive isn't it anyway what I thought to do obviously we've got the 50s dress on uh, people often ask me they often say to me Yvette I do love the way you always wear false hands. Me? Wear false hands? <laughs> That's it all the time. Well, uh, yeah, I suppose I do. And uh, anyway, so I go, often I say, how do you put them on? Well, this morning I've done a little, little short, uh, little video. Uh, when I was getting ready this morning and putting my makeup on, I thought, I'd better put me uh, false eyelashes on. So I've given a description of how to, how to do it. So we're going to see that now. Well, here we are, girls and boys. Uh, well, mainly girls, isn't it? Boys aren't interested in this bit. Right, we're putting false eyelashes on. I've got one on already, as you can see. And I've got the other one here, as you can see. And I've got some glue on it. And uh, what you've got to do is let it go tacky. Now, you can put it in front of a light or something like that and, and tidy it up. But basically, what you do is you take it by the pair of tweezers and you place one side on like that. position get all on the other side bring it down and tap it in place and with a bit of luck it should be somewhere in it get all of it with your fingers what you're going to do you can use the back of the thing and just put it down onto the onto the back of the eye uh, onto the eye line there and that should give you your eyelashes on um a bit of fiddling with them sometimes but that's it that's all there is to it simple as that not complicated at all Put your eyeliner on first. You want a nice liquid eyeliner on to get the look. I'm going for the 50s look, you see, so you've got to have the eyeliner on. And uh, actually, I've got low ones on as well, actually, today, which is a bit unusual. But I don't normally do that. But anyway, that's 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 how you do it. And uh, it's as simple as that. Well, that's how to put false, false eyelashes on. Nice instructional video, that, wasn't it? Now, you might have noticed that I have got changed, because seeing as I thought we covered the fashion of the 50s, and uh, didn't I look gorgeous? Anyway, and then uh, I thought we'd cover the 60s. So now we've uh, I've changed, you see, yeah? And uh, I suppose you've got to have a look at it, haven't you, really, to be fair? And, uh, yeah, so this is the 60s, darling. We've got little dress on. And uh, we've got the PVC go-go uh, uh, boots. Yeah, yeah, very uh, uh, Nancy Sinatra, yeah? And uh, 
Anyway, and I've even done the makeup. I'll have to show you the the. Uh... Now then, you see, you see what you're going to do is you're going to do the banana, the banana on your eyelids. Does that make sense? Very twiggy, very twiggy. Right now then. Yes, so that's the makeup and style for the sixties. I know there's no popper boots on today's. So really, to be fair, oh, all these lorry up things and whatnot, and the stilettos in the fifties. But never mind. When we do the seventies, we really go to town and we have some popper heels on then. Anyway, now then, what we're going to talk about? Oh yes, uh, Helen and Claire. I haven't seen you this week, dears. I don't know what you've been up to. You've been thrusting your bosom out, I suppose, Claire. But anyway. Um, you always do, don't you? And uh, anyway, so I haven't seen you. So but anyway, I've mentioned you. So I'm sure we. I'm not in the bad books this week. Anyway, uh, so I suppose that's all for this week. So we'll stay safe, and uh, and if you can be bothered, tune in next week. <laughs>